Okay, so let's jump into the video. Right now, I don't really have anything on my face. I did my skincare like two hours ago. So I have like moisturized and everything. Now I'm gonna go into primer. I just wanted to tell you guys that skincare is a huge part of how your makeup's gonna look. If your skin isn't healthy, then your makeup won't look as good. For primer, I have a few different primers that I like. If I'm feeling like, oh, my pores are looking big, I always use a pore minimizing primer, usually the pore professional from Benefit, that's a great one. Um, otherwise, I usually use like maybe a face oil or maybe a um, dewy primer, just like something hydrating. So today I think I'm gonna use the Smashbox Crystallize Primer. It's a primer and moisturizer in one. I don't really feel like it's the primer that makes your makeup last, so I don't really use a primer for that effect. I just like to have my skin looking fresh and healthy and before my foundation. So for foundation, depending on what you like, you can use a mattifying foundation, you can use a dewy one. There are so many different options out there. Today I'm using the Youngblood Liquid Mineral Foundation. This is an amazing foundation. It is pricey, but it looks like your skin just a thousand times better. I can't even describe it. So I really like this, but the way to get a flawless finish is more in the technique than in the actual product, I feel like. I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau foundation, just because this is a little bit dark. Right now I scrubbed off my tan, so yeah, we need to make it this work. <laughs> so I'm just applying a little bit on the back of my hand, two pumps, and I think I'm gonna take like a pump of this one. But yeah, I think that's gonna be like a good color. I like to go in with my beauty blender. And the reason why I like to use a beauty blender to blend out my foundation is just because I feel like it gets you a really nice, flawless, even coverage. Um, it really pushes the product into your skin instead of it just laying on top of your skin. I'm not saying you shouldn't use a brush because there are brushes that are really good but I just feel like with the brushes it's really easy to get that look like the foundation is just sitting on top of your skin instead of just having it like melt into your skin. And another great tip is don't go in with too much right away. Apply a thin even layer all over and then if you need more you can apply more and you shouldn't apply like a second layer all over your face all over your face if that's not what you're looking for. If you feel like, oh, I need more coverage around my mouth, then just apply a little bit more around your mouth. Once I have everything, I go in with my beauty blender and I just go like this all over and I work my foundation in for like a minute or two. Basically, you need your foundation to be really applied seamlessly and you can't do this after you've applied other products. So you really need to give your foundation time to sink into your skin and just work it in. Now we're moving on to concealer. Just like foundation, you can use different types of concealer. And I feel like a great tip is don't use too much concealer. I'm starting to feel like everyone in the beauty community is kind of going away from that thick, like cakey under eye concealer that you just pile on. I am one of them. I used to do like crazy heavy thick layer of concealer and you really don't need it and that over time like a few hours into wearing your makeup will make you look cakey and dry. I like to go in with a concealer that is like a shade or two lighter than my skin tone. That just balances out your face later on with the contour and everything. I'm using the Cakeless Concealer from Benefit in the shade 4. I'm going in underneath my eyes. and dragging it out then just a little bit down. I'm not doing like the whole triangle because when you're blending, you will blend it down into that shape. You don't really need to apply the concealer all over. Then I go in around my mouth and I've said this before, the reason that I need to do this is because I do get like darker around my mouth. And then just a little bit on my chin, down the bridge of the nose and between the brows and this I'm literally not dipping back it's a really small amount just to balance out the face and now when you're gonna blend don't let it sit for like a minute 
have it dry down just a little bit, not too much. It's not supposed to be like hard to blend, but you want it to just sit a little bit. That will get that full coverage, that really like extreme coverage, without having to apply that crazy amount of concealer that you don't really need. I blend out the chin. Yeah, I'm just lightly, and then I go between the brows, forehead, down the nose, and around the mouth. And then I go underneath my eyes, I blend out the edges first to have them blend into that foundation. And then I go close underneath. I also take whatever is on that sponge and I go on the eyelids. I use this as my primer. I don't really prime with anything else for eyeshadow. Okay guys, now it's time to set the face. Everyone sets differently. Some like set all over, some just like set underneath your eyes. It's really about preference and how you want your skin to look and how you want it to last. So I have different powders that I like to use. Right now I'm using the MAC and Patrick Star. I like to use translucent powders and I like to bake. So I always use my beauty blender for setting and baking. I just find that that's the best way to really get the powder in there and you can just dust off the excess after. So underneath your eyes, you want to be careful. You don't want to set the creases. So now I've been talking to you guys. The concealer has had time to set in my creases. So I go in again underneath my eyes to blend it out. It's all smooth, nothing has set. In the creases and then I go in with the powder I'm still like looking up and I set it like that and then once I've done it initially once I go in with a little bit more but now you don't have to be as cautious about looking up whatever is left on the sponge go on my chin around my mouth then I take a little bit, I dust off most of it on my hand, and I go between my brows on my forehead. I go on my hand, there's like a tiny amount of product, and I go on my cheeks. There is almost nothing being applied there, but just to give it a little something. And if I want to, I go back in a little bit, dust it off. Right now. So I want to set my face, but I want to set it with as minimal powder as possible. Okay, so the powder underneath my eyes has been there for like a minute or two. I sometimes leave it while I do my eyeshadow, sometimes I just leave it for like 30 seconds. It's really different for me and I don't feel like it really makes that much of a difference as long as you keep it there for at least 30 seconds to a minute. Um, and then I just go in with a brush. And I remove all of that powder. Make sure you really get that powder. I still don't look super dry. I feel like I look dry like right here where I baked. Otherwise, I feel like there's still like some dewiness, some glowiness, but I look flat. And that's because, well, we are flat. We don't have the bronzer and everything, but I still want to give my life, I still want to give my face some life back and I want to prepare it for all of the products that are coming. And I've found a, such an important step in setting your face and making sure foundation lasts is that you need to set your foundation, concealer, and powder separately and then do your bronzer and all of that and then set that. So what I do is I go in with a setting spray, any setting spray that you want. Right now, I've been loving the Huda Beauty Extra Hold Resting Boss Face. This is a great setting spray. I take my beauty blender, I love my beauty blender. And I go in and I spray the shit out of this. Like this, and then I go in. And it is like soaking, so. Move quickly. This step is so important. Now, not only does it look even more like flawless, it doesn't even look like I have powder on my face, but we've, all, but we've also done the most important thing, which is setting our base and making it look flawless, making it last, and just being the perfect base for everything that comes on top of this. 
Because what are we going to do now? We're going in with bronzer, we're going in with highlighter, we're going in with hot blush, and we're doing what? We're rubbing over this and disturbing the foundation and the concealer. By having this set, that's not really going to rub anything off or mess with the base. So now it's time for bronzer, highlighter, contour, blush, all of that. I don't really have anything specific that adds to like this routine. You can do whatever you want here. So I'm just going to do that off camera really quickly like I do bronzer, highlighter, blush, and then I'll be back to show you what I do. I'm also gonna do my eyes off camera. So I'll be back soon with like a finished look to show you guys what I do last week. Okay guys, I'm back. My neighbor is like doing something. I hope you can't hear that, but I'm just gonna end off the video with my final tip. So now I did my face makeup, and my eyes, lips, and all of that. So like I said, nothing special there. Just do what you want to do. If you want me to do like a contour routine, what I like to do, I would like to do that. I would love to do that. A lot of people's final step is setting your face and that is great. I love to do that. But I also have another tip that I really, really love. And I saw that Jaclyn Hill actually posted about this tip on her video, uh, in a video of hers on her channel. I've actually been doing this for like two years um, and it is taking a face oil and applying this to your face. So I usually use any face oil, but I saw that Jacqueline used the Smashbox one, so I wanted to try it out with that one because I usually use the ABH one, that is a favorite of mine, but I wanted to try this out and I really like it because it's like a thicker consistency. So what you do is take a little bit on the back of your hand. I'm taking a new sponge and I'm going into that. And basically, there is supposed to be like almost nothing on that because you don't want to ruin your face, you don't want to look oily, but you want to go all over. So that is what I do. That oil smells like lavender, which I love. So what this does is make sure that just all of the powders, everything just melts in to your face. It makes your face look like you don't have any powder on. So it looks like I only have cream products on. And you can stop right here if you want, but I like to take it another step further. So what I do is go in with the Huda Beauty uh, Resting Boss Face again on that same sponge with oil and I just go in. You can go straight onto your face if you want to so with the setting spray. Sometimes I do that. Okay, so that is the finished look. That is my flawless foundation routine. You guys, try it out. It's little things and paying attention to how you apply your product that really make a big difference and the whole setting. You need to set your base. That is like, if you want to take anything away from this video is set your base before you go in with anything else. So this is usually how my base looks. So that is about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, let me know what type of videos you wanna see and I would love to do that. Um, I'm traveling to Thailand for five, not ten, five weeks uh, next Friday. So I am so excited about that. But uh, yeah, so there are gonna be like a lot of videos from there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.